Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this week, I ask for some money, the £100,000. Ben justifies teaching his cat backflips. She's incredibly talented. And I forget where I am. Starting off the news this week, Denise Evans, which means we have to find that one accurate reconstruction that we have as an image. Anyway, a study was published this week in the journal Science Advances, which took a closer look at genetic information about the face shape of Native Americans, finding that one of these genes seems to have been inherited from Denise Evans. Denise Evans are a relatively new addition to the lineup of extinct humans that we know about, and very little is known about them. If you want to learn more about what we do know, however, check out our video on them. Up here. No, here. Up one of here. Somewhere. In other news, the fantastic campaign to raise enough money to build a statue of the great paleontologist Mary Anning in her hometown has reached its goal of £100,000. It'll be really cool to see once it finally goes up, but remember the Mary Anning Rocks fundraising campaign still hopes to raise an additional £50,000 to help educate. I'll put a link for the fundraiser in the description below. Thanks, Doug. Also in the last week's news is an intriguing study that has found support for the hypothesis that the famous frills of the Ceratopsian dinosaurs were used as sociosexual display structures. The idea that the frills of these dinosaurs were used in such a way is not new, with it long having been suggested that they were potentially using these structures to attract mates, which in turn could be a strong driving force behind their evolution in this lineage. In this new research, paleontologists examined a large sample of fossils of the Ceratopsian dinosaur Protoceratops, analysing their whole skull shape to test predictions of the sociosexual signalling hypothesis. The researchers found that most of these predictions are indeed supported, and that it's therefore likely the Ceratopsian frills had a function in displaying to potential mates, and possibly in displaying in more general social interactions too. Some very interesting evidence to support this hypothesis then. And finally for this week is some exciting Spinosaur news, as new fossil material discovered in Thailand has been found to come from a Spinosaurid, and a dinosaur from Spain previously thought to be a Ceratosaur has been reclassified as another Spinosaurid. The fossils from Thailand consist of several tail vertebrae and look similar to a specimen from Portugal referred to Baryonyx, in addition to displaying features shared with other Spinosaurids, confirming the presence of Spinosaurs in this particular formation in Thailand. The paper also reclassifies the taxon Camariosaurus from the early Cretaceous of Spain as a Spinosaurid, based on the similarities seen between the bones of this animal and the bones of the Thai Spinosaur, in addition to various other taxa. The classification of Camariosaurus as such a dinosaur therefore adds to the known number of Spinosaurids from Europe, and the paper also explains how the presence of more than one Spinosaurid living in the same region is actually quite a common trend found in several localities where these dinosaurs occur. So some very interesting developments that further aid in our understanding of these fascinating prehistoric animals. Now before I hand you back to Doug, you may have noticed that the set has changed slightly. This incredible piece of art was done by my friend Ellie, who has beautifully reconstructed the skull of the T-Rex specimen known as Stan. Now if you want to get this art for yourself, she's just launched an Etsy shop where you can buy this piece and her other amazing art, which will include more dinosaur skulls. So be sure to head on over there and check her out, it'll be linked below, she's incredibly talented. Back to Doug in the studio. Your set has changed. Cool drawing though. Wish I could draw. Anyway, that's it for this week's Seven Days of Science. Do hope you enjoyed it, hope you're all well, and we'll see you next Sunday. Or what, no, Wednesday, I don't know.